Hi everyone, this is Geek Gardener and in this video, I'm going to talk about measuring instrument. To be specific, humidity and temperature. If you are into crop production inside the greenhouse, it is very important that you measure temperature and humidity perfectly. And more accurate it is, it is easier for you to take actions based on those numbers. And in most of my training programs in the past, I have always been asked about different instruments I use. Specifically, many have asked me about the humidity and temperature measurement. So I thought I'll take this opportunity to uh, give you some insight into the instrument I use and also how it is very helpful for measuring multiple parameters with respect to humidity and temperature. So in this video, we're going to see an unboxing of a humidity sensor, which is also uh, called a psychrometer, considering it gives multiple parameters and not just humidity. So in this, we'll unbox an instrument and see how we can use this instrument to measure relative humidity, temperature, which is dry bulb temperature, which is the ambient temperature, wet bulb temperature, and also dew point temperature. So this gives you an idea about multiple parameters surrounding the temperature and humidity. Remember, humidity, though often not mentioned um, in many of the videos, is primarily responsible for the uh, transpiration on the leaves and hence controls uptake of nutrition for the plants. So it is important you measure it well and control it accordingly. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and enjoy this video. A psychrometer, to be exact, a digital psychrometer is a device that is used to uh, measure the air temperature, the dry bulb temperature, the wet bulb temperature, and as a result of these two temperatures, it is used to derive the humidity of the ambient air and also the relative humidity. Now, well, you can uh, always come up with a dry bulb and a wet bulb temperature and use a psychometric chart to derive the humidity, but it is not always practical to run around with charts and, you know, uh, derive the humidity. So we are going to use a handy uh, digital meter to come up with the same information, but much more efficient way. Now let's get into the unboxing to it. So this is something I ordered out of Amazon. Uh, so you have a, a nine volts battery along with that. And And the device and some user manual that goes along with it. Okay, so this is the device. So this is your humidity and temperature sensor and this is where you uh, the buttons to read out. So I'm going to pop in the battery and uh, let's get going. It's not very complicated. It's very straightforward. You have your uh, battery and you need to put the opposite edges in this. You can easily see this goes into this. And you should uh, lock it well and just place it inside. Back goes the... So now I'm going to switch it on. As soon as you switch on at the top, you will have the relative humidity. Uh, which is 60 to 60 to 63 percentage right now and also the ambient temperature which is also called dry bulb temperature but they don't mention it dry bulb um, it is the ambient temperature and the press moment you press the mode you will see the same temperature in fahrenheit the next one if you press mode again you will see the dew point temperature dew point is the temperature at which the vapor condenses into liquid state again that will be the Fahrenheit version of the dew point temperature. Now we press again, you will have your wet bulb temperature in degree Celsius and the Fahrenheit. Pressing the mode again brings you back to the original ambient temperature in Celsius. Let's do a small exercise. Let's see if uh, I can increase the humidity. I, I'll just cover. I'll just cover the sensor with my hand and you know it causes a closed area with a lot of perspiration I'm sure the temperature and probably the humidity also will increase 
What is it right now? 85. Temperature? 29.29.2. Wow. I must be hot. So you can see it dropping down rapidly and it will just come down to 63, 62. Yeah, I think we are back again. So I guess, well, that's about it. So this is very important. This tool is very important to accurately measure wherever you want to measure the temperature and humidity of the greenhouse. Uh, measure it in multiple places. One that is very favorable, closer to the pad, closer to the fogger and something uh, and another reading much far away and always keep their measurements much much closer to the canopy oh one more thing always use this type of equipment not necessarily the same company but this type of uh, devices to measure these are far more accurate than than these desktop ones these are no good um, so don't waste your time on these so just just get hold of a device like this and uh, you will thank me later till then Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.